Hello everyone, it's Axel from Segger. Today I want to show you how to do screen transitions in AppWizard. These days, users often expect to be able to transition from one screen to the other just by swiping their finger like they're used to it from their smartphone. So it's definitely a good thing to also be able to do that in an embedded application. So let's say I have an application with five screens in a pattern like this. So I have a center screen, one to the right, one to the left, an upper screen and a lower screen. And now I'd like to create the appropriate transitions for this. So I can do that over here in the screen properties where I can start with the horizontal motion. So I want the left partner of my center screen to be the left screen. And I want the right partner of my center screen to be my right screen. Likewise, I can go to my right screen and set the horizontal motion in such a way that the left partner is going to be the center screen. And then I'm going to go over here to the left screen and make sure that the right partner of my left screen is also my center screen. And after I've done that, I can go and enter play mode and try this out. So we're now able to transition from the right screen to the center screen to the left screen back to the center screen. So the horizontal motion already works really well and you saw how easy that was to set up. So what I have left to do is go to my upper screen and set vertical motion in such a way that my lower partner is my center screen. And then I'll do that appropriate action for my lower screen, vertical motion, so that the upper partner is the center screen. And in my center screen, I do the same thing, setting the upper partner as the upper screen and the lower partner as the lower screen. And now we can transition from the center screen to any of the screens just by swiping our mouse or swiping our finger across the screen. You have a few customization options here. First of all, you can choose if the new screen is replacing the previous one when it becomes visible or if it should be disclosed. I can show you how that looks for the center screen. So now this is the disclosing motion. Whereas on the way back, we still have the replacing one. So you see that difference. And you also have absolute control over how long the screen transition is supposed to take. So right now the default is 300 milliseconds, but you can easily make that much longer or shorter, let's say a second. And then we can see that the horizontal motion takes a lot longer now. This is one second versus 300 milliseconds the other way still. By the way, this period is kind of a maximum value because it's still depends on how forcefully you swipe the screen. So if I slam that center screen over there, it'll transition much quicker than a second versus just nudging it slightly. And one final tip, if you want your selections that you make in your screen to be still there when you transition back to the screen, like so, then make sure that you have persistent mode enabled for the screen, because otherwise if I turn this off and I make some selections and I transition away from the screen and back to it, then everything is reset to the default setting of the screen. So this is how you do screen transitions in AppWizard and MWIN, which is the underlying graphics library from Sager. I hope you enjoyed this video.
please make sure to check out our other videos on Sager tools and software. And thanks for watching.